Hello everyone. Have you ever heard of smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS? Welcome to your channel, ADP for Learning. Today we will dig deep dive into the fantastic topic of smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS, by addressing key questions like what is smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS? Which gene is most affected by smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS? What are the symptoms or features of smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS? And how can we manage or treat smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS? So, without further delay, let's start with our first topic. What is smith lemliopitz syndrome, SLOS? smith lemliopitz syndrome affects a person's ability to make cholesterol. Cholesterol is required for healthy growth and development. Some cholesterol comes from food, but most of it is made in the body. According to the National Organization for Rare Disorders, NORD, in the United States, smith lemliopitz syndrome affects 1 in 20,000 to 40,000 babies. smith lemliopitz syndrome was initially named RSH, for the initials of the first three patients diagnosed with the disorder. It was later changed to honor the three geneticists who first described the disorder in 1964, David Smith, Luke Lemley, and John Opitz. So that leads to another critical question, which gene is most affected in smith lemley opitz syndrome? The affected gene in smith lemley opitz syndrome is DHCR7 on chromosome 11. The gene codes for a protein called DHCR7 which is 7-dehydrocholesterol reductase. People with the disorder have two copies of the gene that have either reduced or no function. They may make very little or no working 7-dehydrocholesterol reductase or DHCR7 protein, or they may make a version of the 7-dehydrocholesterol reductase or DHCR7 protein with very little activity. The 7-dehydrocholesterol reductase or DHCR7 protein is active in most cells in the body. Its job is to help to make cholesterol. Cholesterol is a fat-like molecule that sits in the membranes of all of the body's cells. It allows membranes to stay fluid and flexible. Cholesterol is also converted into other molecules that the body needs, including vitamin D, hormones, and bile salts which help to digest fats. With no or no working 7-dehydrocholesterol reductase or DHCR7 protein, people with smith lemley opitz syndrome or SLOS make very little or no cholesterol. They also have high levels of byproducts of cholesterol metabolism, which can be toxic to the body. smith lemley opitz syndrome or SLOS follows an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern. An affected child must inherit two non-working copies of the gene one from each parent. So that leads to another important question. What are the symptoms of smith lemley opitz syndrome? smith lemley opitz syndrome can look very different between individual people. The effects depend on their specific gene variants and how much cholesterol they can make. Because cholesterol is present in all of the body cells, smith lemley opitz syndrome affects many body systems. Cholesterol is essential for embryonic development. So many of the characteristics of smith lemley opitz syndrome form before birth. The most severe effects of smith lemley opitz syndrome are on the brain. The brain has many cell membranes, so it is greatly affected by too little cholesterol. Children with smith lemley opitz syndrome often experience small head sizes, developmental delays, mild to severe intellectual disability, and the characteristics of autism. Other standard features of people with smith lemley opitz syndrome include distinctive facial features, low muscle tone, low birth weight, slow growth, fused toes that is syndactyly, extra fingers or toes that are polydactyly, digestive problems, cleft palate that is split upper lip, incompletely formed genitals in males, and sensitivity to sunlight. Less common effects include heart, kidney, and liver problems, hearing loss and clouding of the eye lens that is cataracts. At last, it leads to another question. How can we manage or treat smith lemley opitz syndrome? Management for smith lemley opitz syndrome is based on each person's individual needs. 
Supplements and medication can supply some of the molecules that people with smith lemliopitz syndrome cannot make themselves. Babies and adults are usually given cholesterol, bile salts, vitamin D, and certain hormones. Surgery can repair cleft palate and relieve some of the other physical effects. Clothing and sunscreen protect sensitive skin from sunlight. And physical, occupational, and speech therapies can be a great benefit to young children. Thank you for joining me on this amazing journey of learning. We will again meet with new innovative topics. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts or feedback, please comment below.